Welcome to the Key Stage 3 Under the Sea Home Learning Pack. There's some really exciting and interesting lessons for you to try. Don't forget though, to check your answers and to also talk to another member of the family if you get stuck and you need some support. Okay, let's make a start. The pack is based on Under the Sea. There are nine subjects in the pack which include English, Maths, Personal, Social and Health Education, PSHE, Independence, Understanding the World, Science, Creative Arts, Technology and Physical Development. The subjects are grouped together into three main packs. First pack being English, second Maths and then there's a wider learning pack with the remaining subjects in them. Each lesson has a very similar format. There will be a lesson number at the top. This is closely followed by the equipment. This includes the things that you will need to complete the lesson, such as worksheets, pens, pencils, scissors, glue, ruler. There'll be a set of instructions related to the lesson. This will give you an, the outcomes and what the lesson is about. There will also be, within each of the packs and each of the lessons, examples to um, support your child in terms of their learning. Then each lesson will be broken down into activities, activity one, two, and activity three. Activity one often is the easiest activities and every child should be able to complete these. Activity two is about the application of skills and knowledge and your child may need some support with this. Activity three is more independent work where children are applying their knowledge and skills to different environments and contexts. Let's make a start on the English pack. In English, we would like pupils to work on key writing skills, such as capital letters, full stops and letter sounds, create a poem, use adjectives in their writing and complete a piece of creative writing. Let's watch a short video clip about the eight English lessons. Um, this little video is just to help you explain what you need to do for your English home learning pack. Okay, so you're learning in the way of school, but for these next few weeks, your learning will happen at home. Okay, so lesson one of your English pack is about reading a poem. It's got lots of rhyming words, so rhyming words are the words that have the same sound at the end of the word. So, Ted and Red, they both end with that ed. Sound. So have a look through, see if you can find the rhyming words. Lesson two is about being a bit of a detective, spotting the mistakes. Okay, the teacher that's written this has forgotten the capital letters and the full stops. You need to look carefully through the whole piece of work and find where should those capital letters go, where should the full stops go and put them in. Okay. There is also a list of words with no capital letters. Some of them should have a capital letter, some should not. Can you work out which ones should have the capital letter? Remember, capital letters need to, we normally use them for people's names, places, days of the week and at the start of a sentence. And then there's a little bit of a story that you need to rewrite using all those skills. Add in your capital letters and add in your full stops. Um, lesson three, you will need something to watch a YouTube video on. So ask the adults at your ho at home what you can watch a YouTube video on. And then once you've watched the video, there's a passage of work to read and it's full of facts and information about under the sea. So once you've read that, and if you're finding the reading a little bit tricky, remember, ask for help. Ask one of the adults at home, okay? or if you've got older brothers or sisters, ask them to help you. And then there are some questions. So ask, start to answer the questions about all those different things. I think there's questions about fish, about sharks. So lots of different ones. And then there's a picture to colour in, to decorate all about um, bits of plastic under the sea that are ruining um, the sea for all the sea life. 
Um, lesson four is all about adjectives, so describing the words. So there's a pic a, another picture, and I think it's got a shark and some seaweed. So instead of just saying, oh, there's seaweed, there's not just seaweed, there's green wavy seaweed. The shark's got big white teeth. Okay. There is a page on, in that lesson with lots and lots of adjectives that you can use to help you. Or if you can think of your own adjectives, those describing words, that would be even better. Um, lesson five is a film review. So how good is this? You've got to watch a film for your home learning. There's a picture showing you about Dory. If you've not watched them, um, this little video is just to help you explain what you need to do for your English home learning pack. Okay, so your learning in, will normally be done in school, but for these next two weeks, your learning will happen at home. Okay, so lesson one of your English pack is about reading a poem. It's got lots of rhyming words. So rhyming words are the words that have the same sound at the end of the word. So Ted and Red, they both end with that ed sound. So have a look through, see if you can find the rhyming words. Lesson two is about being a bit of a detective, spotting the mistakes. Okay. The teacher that's written this has forgotten the capital letters and the full stops. You need to look carefully through the whole piece of work and find where should those capital letters go, where should the full stops go and put them in. Okay. There is also a list of words with no capital letters. Some of them should have a capital letter, some should not. Can you work out which ones should have the capital letter? Remember, capital letters need to, we normally use them for people's names, places, days of the week, and at the start of a sentence. And then there's a little bit of a story that you need to rewrite using all those skills. Add in your capital letters and add in your full stops. Um, Lesson three, you will need something to watch a YouTube video on. So ask the adults at your home, at home what you can watch a YouTube video on. And then once you've watched the video, there's a passage of work to read and it's full of facts and information about under the sea. So once you've read that, and if you're finding the reading a little bit tricky, remember, ask for help. Ask one of the adults at home, okay, or if you've got older brothers or sisters, ask them to help you. And then there are some questions. So ask, start to answer the questions about all those different things. I think there's questions about fish, about sharks. So lots of different ones. And then there's a picture to colour in, to decorate all about um, bits of plastic under the sea that are ruining um, the sea for all the sea life. Um, lesson four is all about adjectives, so describing words. So there's a pic, a, another picture, and I think it's got a shark and some seaweed. So instead of just saying, oh, there's seaweed, there's not just seaweed, there's green wavy seaweed. The shark's got big white teeth. Okay. There is a page on, in that lesson with lots and lots of adjectives that you can use to help you or if you can think of your own adjectives those describing words that would be even better um, lesson five is a film review so how good is this you've got to watch a film for your home learning there's a picture showing you about dory if you've not watched the film um about Dory or Nemo, if you've watched any. Welcome to the Maths Pack. In Maths, you'll be working on numbers, including tally charts, number squares, and place value. We'll also be developing your core skills in relation to addition, subtraction, and multiplication, 
and also we'll be describing shapes and shape properties. Within the mass packs, you will be encountering tally charts and place value. For tally charts, please remember that when we're working at our tally charts, we are looking at one, two, three, four, the fifth one goes through the gate, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we continue this until we've finished counting. With regards to place value, please remember that the place value is about understanding which column a number is in. So if we consider the number 156, then we have six in the units column, 50 in the tens column, and 100 in the hundreds column. To develop the early skills of math, we might want to use number bonds. In this example, we can have five and seven, in which case, when we add those together, we can bring them together to make 12. It may be useful for your child to use a number line so we can count on. So we go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Another way of representing this may be using counters or other objects that we can find around the house. So we may go 1, 2, 3, for five counters, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then when we bring those together, if we collect them up, we will have one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then your child can count the total of this making 12. As well as addition within the mass pack, your child will also encounter subtraction. Let's have a look at three examples. In the first example of the column subtraction, we have seven minus three in the units column, which will then give us four. We then have six minus four in the tens column, which will give us two. And this will then give us our answer of 24. This is a straightforward column subtraction as it does not require borrowing. In the second example, we have 2 minus 6, therefore, we will need to borrow from the 5 in the tens column, making that 4. This then becomes 12 minus 6, which gives us our answer of 6, and then 4 minus 3, which gives our answer of 1. The final example we have on this sheet is one which is slightly more complex again. So we have four minus eight, which therefore we need to borrow. There are two ways of doing this. We can borrow taking from each column. So we're going to take from the column next to this in the tens, which is a zero, which we can't do. So we will need to borrow from the column in the hundreds, which we can't do because that again is a zero. So we need to borrow from the end one to become two. This becomes 10. We then borrow from the 10 to become nine. And then from the 10 again to become nine. To make 14 in the units column where we can complete the equation. Another way of doing this would be, as per the example here, where we borrow from the 300 to make that 299, that then becomes 14. Either way is acceptable for your child, depending on which way they would prefer to work out the equation. However, it is then the same process as above, where we then take away on each column to give her our answers. Another lesson within the mass pack covers time. Let's have a video about time. With time, we've got simple clock, where the, the big hand, which is the blue hand, that's the minute hand that goes round. We always make sure that the minute hands go round in a clockwise direction. And when the blue hand or the big hand is at the top, we call that o'clock. 
when we move round and it's sitting on the three, we call that quarter past. On the six, we call that half past. And on the nine, we call it quarter two. And then we're back round to the hour. So, have a go at some time questions, see how you get on, and then ask an adult. See how many you got right, check your answers on the grid, and good luck. With time, we've got simple clock. Let's have a look at some of the wider learning pack. In PSHE, you'll be looking at creature habitats and what you might find on a beach and what is safe and unsafe. We'll also be considering about the impact of plastic on our oceans and how we can improve that through recycling. It's also important that when you go to the beach that you know how to stay safe in the sun. So the last part of the lesson will develop your knowledge in this area and you will finish by completing a poster or information about how you can keep yourself safe and your family safe whilst in the sun. In independence, you'll be looking at planning a trip to a sea life centre. If you don't want to choose a sea life centre, perhaps choose a centre that you would like to go and visit once we're able to. How will you get there? Will you get there by car? Will you get there by train? Or will you get there by bus? Can you plan your route and see how much it would cost both to get there and also to get entrance into the venue that you've chosen. The lesson will also look about what happens if you break down on the way or who can help you if you have an accident. It will look at the emergency services and how you contact them and what each emergency service does. In understanding the world, you'll start by naming the oceans of the world. You will then explore the water cycle and finally consider the history of ocean ships throughout the years. In science, we'll start by looking at what animals live at the top, the middle and the bottom of oceans, and also then how animals have adapted to live in those environments. You will then have a look at food chains and establish what animals or plants are producers and which ones are consumers. You may also then establish a food web as opposed to a food chain. In creative arts lessons, it's time to let your imagination go. You will start by making some sea creatures based on artwork or on objects around the house. And eventually you will create your own sea monster from Play-Doh. In technology lessons, we will continue by creating more sea animals. However, this time using the computer, either a word program or an arts program, using shapes, lines and art packages to create your own sea life creatures. It's then time to use the internet to gather information around how you would look after an aquatic pet. Perhaps you would like to choose a terrapin or a goldfish. Finally, why not find some interesting videos to watch such as someone feeding sharks. The final set of lessons are around physical development. You will start by moving like sea creatures in these examples, like a crab or stretching like a sea lion. Then there are activities to practice linked to beach games and sports that you might do in the water, such as beach volleyball or even rowing. Please remember when you're doing physical development, to first of all, Make sure you're nice and warm before you start at any of the activities and ensure that you have an appropriate space to do these in and that you are not going to hurt yourself um, by bumping into anything such as chairs, tables or other furniture. Thank you for listening today. Please don't forget to take pictures of your work and to send them into school. Just a reminder, 
Each of the lessons have three activities within them. Those activities do get harder. If you do get stuck, please don't just give up, keep trying. And if you need some more support, remember to ask an adult or another member of your family to help. Thank you.